Possibly one of the greatest cycles produced from the rally factory was not a bicycle at all, but a moped with an engine. A bicycle with an engine and pedals was the ultimate definition of a moped. And probably the most iconic of all was the Rally RM6, also known as the Rally Runabout. The Rally Runabout was produced in red, white and blue to be a truly British icon of the 1960s. Here is a rare opportunity to see them together. The engine was based on a French design under licence, but Rally did make their own modifications to models to make them unique to the British market. Rally mopeds were made from 1963 and production stopped in 1971. Today, in the 21st century, electric bikes can be seen to have evolved from these types of mopeds. Not just confined to lazy cyclists, these bikes were initially marketed to take the English gentleman to work and also for the traditional 60s mum to pop to the shops. Rally mopeds were distributed far and wide and even reached America and Australia. In the US, the rally moped was rebadged Montgomery Ward. The performance of the model back in the day was not as good as some of the competition, such as NSU and Honda. But like any true classic, these bikes today can be used and admired. Do not expect much more than 25 to 30 miles per hour. But fuel economy should be over 100 miles to the gallon. Going back to the looks, we have the traditional red, white and blue. But what is that black one on the end, you may wonder. We will leave that one and talk about it last. The most popular runabout is in white with a racing green fuel tank and mud guards. This was a fashionable choice for the ladies. The official name for the creamy white colour used by Rally is actually pearl grey. Then we have blue. There were two shades produced. The lighter Neptune you can see here and also a darker royal blue model. For those of you with deeper pockets you could have purchased the Rally RM6 Deluxe not to be confused with Dulux. The Deluxe model had a speedometer, a rear rack, and was finished in carmine red, which is a metallic color very hard to reproduce accurately. It also had the words Deluxe on the post below the saddle. The RM6 runabout was distinctive with front forks with bicycle brakes a single saddle, a belt driven centrifugal clutch engine and a fuel tank positioned over the rear wheel. Last but not least we haven't forgotten the black sheep of the Rally RM6 gang. This was known as the Rally RM6 Pop. It would have had pop instead of runabout on the chain guard covers. Legend has it that at a board meeting the decision was taken to axe the Rally runabout. If only they had known about the 70s fuel crisis about to hit. All remaining runabout parts were to be taken out of picking bins to make up whole bikes. These bikes would be sprayed black as quickly as possible and sold off as a cheap rally pop. This means that today there are not as many surviving rally pop models. This one that you can see here has front forks which are a different colour. This is probably original, as the bike was made up from parts of what was left over. Today we use this as a test model. I hope you enjoyed listening to my little history on the Rally RM6 runabout, and I do hope this helps anyone who is lucky enough to own one or find one. Please do like and share my YouTube channel. Thank you again.